Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. Now, Kenyans, I've seen a video coming from Eldoret, was in Gishu County, where William Ruto is coming from. And it is so sad, the man is still not listening to the voices of Kenyans. He thought like it was now a movement that was being sponsored from the mountain and the so-called Ford Kenya Foundation, as he said yesterday. The question is, why is it that William Ruto is using the police officers to, of course, frustrate the demonstrators and, of course, show an indication of fear that they don't want these young men and women to show or present their petition to the right authority. I've seen, I've seen them deploying land cruisers all over the Eldoret town, asking myself, are we in a country where there is a war or we don't know? It is just that William Ruto does not want to be told that the ground has changed and the ground is not recognizing him at all. I want you to watch the video. William Alan cruises in a pango kwa mabarabara. You think like there is a war in Ellery, but it is just demonstrators who are trying to present their petition before the right authorities. Let us look at the video. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch and you forget liking the video. So I'm just reminding you, like the video. This video is going to be so interesting. Thank you so much for that like. Let us watch the video from Eldred, was in Gishu County, where William Ruto is coming from. And there's something also I have seen from Kakamega County where goons, let me not say they are police officers, because police officers who are wanakwa kwa uniform, no wanabeba buduki, ama the others. But as I want to display a video here also, where goons armed with the law of jambes asking myself, where are the police officers to arrest these individuals? Because you cannot tell me that these goons will protect our country more than police officers. We are going back to the dark regime where you cannot come out and present your issues and your petition to the right authority. Then, this is the video. But 
But in Nairobi, they are arresting peaceful and armed protesters in the name of them threatening the security in CBD. I want you to watch also the video where a young man is being arrested. He's just having a flag of the Republic of Kenya. He's having his phone. He is unarmed. He is being arrested, but the goons who are being hired by some individual that we don't know, they are even good friends of police officers. Where are we going as a country? Where I cannot give my opinion. I give my opinion, you kill me. I give my opinion, you arrest me. But you, you have a right to give your own opinion. William Ruto told us yesterday that it was Ford Foundation that, spo that is busy sponsoring the demonstration. The question is, is William Ruto listening to the people? I told you here, I don't care even who will fund the demonstration as long as our issues are being addressed. Take a look at this video where a young man is being arrested, just carrying a flag and having a phone and armed in Nairobi. Mimi tu na niko na amani yangu sina shida. Mm. Bendera yangu. Okay. Bendera na firimbi. Kuna pingia niko na. Sijajua ya kuangalia na simu. Mm. Na simu. Okay. Tujiagizane. Mm. Amani, amani, amani. Mm. Uwezi wakikuja kuiba tunawashika tunawaletea. Mm. Wacha ti protest kwa amani. Unaitwa nani ndugu yangu? Naitwa Kitani. Kitani. Naitwa Kitani, Kitani Jogo. Mm. Na June September nitaka then, when I'm telling you that William Ruto has not listened to the ground, some people are thinking that I'm lying. If William Ruto could have listened to the people, he maneno him William Ruto and a parade my police officers and a KDF all over, ni kama kuna war. He is one place. And let me ask you, do you know why the people of Uasin Gishu are furious? Do you know that? Number one, did you hear about the Finland scandal of the former governor Mandel. So when you see parents, young men and women storming the street, it is among such kind of issues. But William Ruto has a key, is not listening. So this just anger piled up and making individuals to storm the street. They told us it is the Mount Kenya billionaires. It is Illuminati. It is Mm, the opposition, it is Ford Foundation that is sponsoring the, uh, the demonstration. But the question is, is William Ruto listening? Are you sure William Ruto is listening? He's not listening. Why? If I was William Ruto, because embarrassment that I'm seeing from Osin Gishu, and it will soon erupt, is because William Ruto is defending corrupt individuals. Even in his own county, he cannot come out and call them out and tell them, you are corrupt. Please, you must be arrested. You must be accountable. But he's just massaging them, you know. Oh, we'll do something. We'll do something. But these people sold their cows. They sold their land. They sold even their businesses just to fund their children to go and school in Finland. So such kind of issues are making even the people of Wasingishu County, where William Ruto is coming from, to be furious. But William Ruto is not listening. His close allies are busy hiring goons now to maim and frustrate the demonstrators. But let me tell you, if William Ruto wants to con continue like this, I am sure, 100% sure, William Ruto might not finish his race. But if he wants to finish his race, he must understand what the people are saying, not what the leaders are saying. I saw him yesterday in Nakuru saying whatever he's saying, but the man has not listened to the people. He's embarked to the rallies on the streets. The other day he was in Nyandaro in a church. The other time he was in Kajiado. Yesterday he was in Nakuru. He's continuing this to us. But the truth of the matter, the man has not Listen to what the Kenyans are telling them. We don't want corruption. We must deal with this corruption because we have independent institutions like ESCC, 
that is dead. We are having this eye that is dead long time ago. Even evidences that they are giving us is not accurate. We are having police officers also that are just there to create chaos and violence. And so we are telling him there are seven broken systems across the Republic of Kenya. He's not listening. They are busy hiring goons all over because the demonstrators want to present their petition to the right authority. Then, Badai, Viti Kisha talk about goons now, demonstrators, Mutaza Kusem, oh, it is protesters who are bringing this chaos. It is you who are creating violence and chaos in the Republic of Kenya. They think they don't, we don't know. We, don't, we know them. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.